All right, coach. Wrapping up two weeks at home with a couple, a few per, uh, school, new school records and personal bests up the wazoo. How do you feel? <laughs> I mean, it's a good place to start. I mean, as a coach, you're proud of the accomplishments that your team uh, continues to build on. Such a we had such a phenomenal indoor season that this is just a culmination of all the work that we've done this fall in this indoor. So, looking forward to a great outdoor season as well. So, and what are what are some areas of improvement that you noticed from this past weekend? I think a lot just has to do with the confidence. You know, winning a championship kind of puts everyone in a different frame of mind. And so they run with a little bit more confidence. And so that helps a lot, but they become hungry. It's so funny, like when you see some performances and they're just like, now it's now it's not it's not as good for them. You know, they, they want more. And so that's, that's the beauty of, you know, having the success indoor and going into this outdoor season. Can you talk about Renai and Latasha? You know, they're coming off of, it, of their performances at indoor, and now they're transitioning to outdoor a little later than the, the rest of the team had, who had a bit of an extra week to do it, or at least an earlier week. So how does it, how, how, how did you think they did their first well, You know, I think it was a good start, you know, for Tasha to come out with a PR. That's a well over half a second PR for her. Um, and Renaya, I was just talking to her, and that's like to open that. That's her fastest opener, you know. Um, so <laughs> I think we opened up at like 13, 50 or maybe 13:30 something last year, so 13:0 is a good start for her season. So I'm very pleased with both of them. I think the experience of going to the national championship indoors has set them up well for outdoors and uh, helping get their teammates' mindset on that uh, championship kind of mentality. Senior recognition day. How does it feel having five of your? And I was there. It was, it was hard to ignore how much, how emotional you were getting. Yeah. Talk about having five seniors graduate. They're like your children. So you know you have five five of your children leaving you, and and you're just so happy that they've had a great experience here. You hope they've had a great experience, and you know now it's just the culmination where their family gets to see them compete in their one last home meet, and they get to see their teammates, you know, and friends from UCF come and support them. So it's always it's always a fun day on senior day and it's always a little bit emotional because you'll miss them. One of those seniors, Sydney Turner, was one of three UCF athletes to get the Order of Pegasus. How did it feel to have one of your athletes get, get that UCF's highest student honor? Outstanding. You know, one of the things that uh, I think my team understands and knows that academics are a priority. We expect to be uh, academically sound and not just sound, but, you know, excel. So she's done that and set the standard for our program and so we're, we couldn't be more proud of her. And you said last home meet of the season. What is the preparation going to be like not having a weekend off until the American Championship? Well, we, you know, the schedule looks like we don't have a weekend off, but there's some people will be competing and some. Be, so we have Florida Relays next weekend. So we are going three weekends in a row. And then the majority of the team is going to have the weekend after that off. And only the heptathletes will compete at that Miami meet. And then we'll all come back and compete. So we have a few little rest weeks in there, but. Um, you know, I think it's a good schedule and I think we'll just continue to build on it and I look forward to the season. So Ashira Collins is coming off of, a, of, a, of an outdoor season where she went to the outdoor championships last season, the triple jump, but not only did she compete in the triple jump, she also competed in the 100 meter dash. Is there something new going on with her? No, she ran it last year, you know, she, um, she surprisingly, she had a pretty good start last year and then she kind of like tweaked her hamstring a little bit so she didn't get to run it much uh, again after she did at the home meet. Um, but no, she's, she's got a little speed to her, um, you know, so not, not too much of a surprise. Obviously, you know, uh, when people think track and field, they think Renaya Jones, maybe Latasha Smith comes up as well, and uh, Cher Collins and their outdoor performances. But who's somebody that maybe might, that maybe is a little under the radar right now that you think could have a big outdoor season? I think uh, Kaya Williams is off to a good start. She, she had a big, uh, almost, uh, almost a second PR um, from her indoor time, outdoor, you know, opened up at 53.6. So I think, you know, she's, she's someone to watch. Um, as well as Danielle Best will always end up showing up at the end. Um, I think uh, I think we have such a young team that there's somebody in every group that could just kind of surprise you. And that's I think that's the fun of this team is the depth. And even though you see your superstars at the top, there's always those people in the next level that could step in at any time and just, you know, surprise you. Yeah, I'm just yeah, I mean, one of the big things is like mo most of this team is underclassmen, at least listed on the, the rosters. So, like, what is it like to have such a young team, to have such a young core that, you know, ideally will be around for a while? I mean, it's awesome because, you know, that's last year I kept saying, oh, we're just so young, we're so young. But that COVID year really helped mature 
are um, freshmen, so it's almost like they got a, a, a little bit of, a, of a, an opportunity to run and it not count, um, but they got the learning curve experience. So that kind of set them up. And then outdoors, you know, was, was new for them going to the championship, but now they've gone indoors, gone to the championship, won a championship. Now they understand what to do to this outdoor season. So um, I think we'll just be a much better prepared team in the future. One of those, one of those underclassmen was Adrian. She broke the school record. <laughs> Were you there when she broke it? I was, I was. I got to watch it in person and it's been a long time coming. You know, Adrian has, it's like, it's like, like you said, she's an underclassman, but she's been here a while, you know? So it's like some of these kids have been here and through COVID, um, it seems like they just are getting going and just getting an opportunity to compete. But um, they've been here a while, so they've gotten to be students. They might be juniors and seniors academically, but only, you know, sophomores uh, track-wise. So um, that's the beauty of this team. We add a little bit of depth and experience, you know, um, having Brittany Floyd come in as a transfer and have one year, but it made a world of difference for us indoors, you know. Um, so. We also had a school record in, uh, in Valerie last year, last, last week. So how, so how does it feel to have such have a team that's able to break school records as often as they have? I mean, it's great because you're looking at the um, the culture and the, the you know because some of these records have been around for a while and some of them are pretty steep. So anytime you can replace those records, and I think one of the good things that I think we've done as a staff is. While some of the records are pretty steep and they're probably gonna, like some of those sprint records are probably gonna be there for a while. But if you look at our top 10 list, I think we've rewritten a lot of the top 10 um, lists, which means as overall as a team, we have a good quality and we have depth. Um, and so I think, um, I hats off to my staff um, as we've recruited and built this team the way that we should for, um, you know, a long, long couple years of success, hopefully. Awesome. Good luck, Coach. All right. Thank Stay you. Coach.